the auction of the most valuable illustrated book in the world and a feature-length crime caper showing and theaters around the country both have interesting ties to Kentucky. This Thursday at Christie's in New York City, John James Audubon's hand-colored Birds of America collection is expected to fetch between $8 minus $12 million. Audubon's life is intertwined in the bluegrass state. It's where two of his children were born, a state park is named after him and his travels along the Ohio River are where he spotted local birds such as the Kentucky Warbler. The volumes are massive in size, over 3 feet tall, capturing life-size depictions of over 1,000 birds representing 500 species. It's considered one of the finest illustrated books in the world, you may like whatever happened to that film Jeremy Irons shot in Louisville. Simultaneously, American Animals, one of the most talked about films at this year's Sundance Film Festival, tells the true story of four college students in Lexington who plotted to steal millions of dollars worth of rare books from the Transylvania University campus library, including illustrated volumes by Audubon. British writer, director Bart Layton, the imposter, was intrigued when he read a 2007 article about the crime in Vanity Fair magazine, I wasn't sure it was worth a movie until I began corresponding with the actual guys who were halfway into a very long prison sentence, Layton told the Courier Journal in a phone interview. Through years of communication I realized it was a lot more than a story about a crime. It was about lost young men struggling with questions about their identity, masculinity and all sorts of stuff and that's what drew me to it. The result is Layton's American Animals, a hybrid film that opened nationwide this month in select theaters that is part high action crime caper and part documentary. Actors Barry Cogan, The Killing of a Sacred Deer, Evan Peters, American Horror Story, Jared Abramson and Blake Jenner, The Glee Project, play the college students who plan the heist by watching Hollywood movies like Reservoir Dogs, You May Like Derby Darlings Tara Lipinski and Johnny we're host new Food Network show Take a long look at your future. It's about to change. Tickets, https colon slash slash t dot co slash bw6 avrorpic.twitter.com slash i36 to go, American Animals, at Amer Animals June 4, 2018 sprinkled throughout the film are interviews with the actual men who stole the museum quality books. On December 17, 2004, in broad daylight, Warren Lipka, Spencer Reinhardt, Eric Borsick and Charles Allen II walked into Transylvania's Special Collections Room, used a stun gun on the librarian, then made off with valuable sketches and rare manuscripts. Although they failed to lift their original target, Audubon's Birds of America, worth an estimated $8 million, the four were able to steal an estimated $735,000 of books. The four later attempted to sell their loot at Christie's Auction House in New York City, movie audiences also hears from the parents of the four men who were involved in the scheme, which became known as the Transy Book Heist. It is a hybrid, a new way to tell a true story which we haven't seen before, Layton told the Courier Journal. You get your cake and eat it in this film because of your emotional investment and connection to these guys, against your better judgment, is very deep because you've heard from them throughout the film, you may like, from Indiana to Bikini Bottom, this actor performed at the Tony Awards the crime had devastating results for the young men, and for their families but all four showed up for the movie's screening at Sundance and earlier this month when the film made its national premiere, when they committed the crime, they craved attention, that's a big part of why they did what they did, Layden said. They wanted to leave a mark on the world, whether for good reasons or bad reasons. Now all these years later, they seem embarrassed and I know they deeply regret what they did but they all agree it's true to what happened. It's a fair representation, the film makes its way to Kentucky on June 22nd, reach Kirby Adams at Kadams at Courier-Journal.com Twitter at Kirby Lewisville. Support strong local journalism by subscribing today, www.courier-journal.com slash Kirbya. Read or share the story, https colon slash slash www.courier-journal.com slash story slash entertainment slash people slash buzz slash 2018 slash 06 slash 12 slash John dash Audubon dash auction dash American dash animals dash movie dash Kentucky dash connection slash 6207680002 slash